So as we study chapter seven drawing, we are covering some ideas about sketchbooks. Leonardo talked about keeping a little book of leaves. So I thought I would share with you some of my um, sketchbooks. Here you can see I'm working in pencil. I like to, I don't know, capture the day. Um, so I'll, I'll usually take a photograph, come back to my studio, um, grab a pencil, do some sketches of it. Here you can see I've got the little cottonwood leaf. And then I'm just studying different trees. That's what I'm drawn to. Some sketches are pretty basic like this. There's not a whole lot finished. They can be a little bit more involved. Working with graphite. Here I was working with graphite powder so you can see how it kind of creates a soft effect. A little bit of lace. I thought the lace kind of looked like the tree there. Here I'm just working with pencil, including a little feather I found along the walk. <laughs> Sometimes along the country roads, I live out in the country, um, you'll find, I don't know, different things in the road. So I found a bolt, a little bone, fallen butterfly. So I included that in my drawing there. So I've kept these sketchbooks for a long time and they're not always in necessarily book form, but I definitely every day do a daily sketch. So I've got um, a few hundred. Like I say, some of them are more in depth, some of them are more abstract, but I'm always looking at nature. Here, <laughs> I was working with graphite powder, and this you're working kind of negatively, meaning I lay down the graphite and then I take a kneaded eraser, which looks like this. So it looks kind of like a dirty piece of gum or something, and then you just knead it and then you wipe away. Where, wherever you want the light areas to be. Found a little feather, so I included that. This is a watercolor. Here, this is really abstract, isn't it? I'm even having a hard time. This is back in 2021. It's like, what in the world? <laughs> Trees and clouds again. Here it looks like I'm working... Um, what is that? Not sure, but it look, looks like I've added some white there. So, yeah, I think it is graphite. It's kind of unusual to add white to graphite. But the fun thing that I love about the daily sketches, working in a sketchbook, you can be more experimental. Um, it's pretty low stakes, so you can get loose, be abstract, whatever you can finish in a day. I love seeing the unfinished with a little bit more finished here in this tree. I like seeing both. Ooh, <laughs> this, it looks like a butterfly wing, but that's actually a grasshopper wing. So here you can see it was done in September. So whenever grasshoppers are around, abundant, overtaking. Ooh, I like this. Um, a lot of times the trees, they look like figures to me. So this almost looks like a, a dancing woman or something like that. Very, um, I don't know, just <laughs> evocative. And then here, just a fallen wing that I had found and included in watercolor. <laughs> I uh, found this cutest little cat and picked her up and brought her home. Her name was Spooky. So I was doing some quick sketches, but little cats, kittens, any sort of animal, they want to move a lot. So if it looks a little funny, well, <laughs> I wasn't able to capture her image in time before she started moving. Here, just taking an evening walk, looking at the dark silhouetted trees against that evening sky, little leaves that had fallen. I, I really love the cast shadow, you know, again, just very evocative, telling a little story of the day. Some little cat studies. Tree, fallen um, monarch queen. Similar themes. You know, nothing, um, I don't know, just outrageously exciting, but you know, it's it's your day, it's your life. I go, I can go back and look at it and, and I'm so glad I, I caught the um, little sketches of the 
kitten there because she didn't she didn't make it too long. I'm not sure what happened to her. Living out in the country, it's kind of the hazards of <laughs> being among coyotes and owls and whatever else. Here, this is an example of a, I believe it's watercolor. Little sketches. Again, just a tree that I'm so familiar with. I see it all the time on my drive home. I like this one. This one is kind of playing around with seeing the tree here against that kind of middle value of the sky and the dark in the background. You're kind of, what am I looking at? Little elm, elm leaf there in watercolor. Again, playing around with the um, powdered graphite. Just the different soft effects that can create. This is a house down the road for me. Um, an old man used to live there named Deke Coffee. When I was very young, I'd always go visit with him. That he, he died many, many years ago. But his old house is still there. Old tin barn in the background. Little, um, another house down the road. They have uh, pear trees. So, as the uh, season come around and the tree full of pears, I decided to sketch the tree and paint the little pear there that I found. Another one. A pear that has a little more red and green to it. Here's D Coffee's house again from the front. Little oak trees and here, I don't know if you've seen those acorns that it's almost like they don't fully develop so you only see the little top. So I picked that up, put it in my sketchbook. Little um, down the road house has the decorative pear trees. Uh, I think they're called Bradford pear. And just the cool little leaves that fall from them. Ooh, this, I love this willow tree. It's kind of spooky. It's almost dead. And little um, cool little butterfly wing. Also, I like to do just fun designs in sketchbooks. So this is an example of just, I don't know, playing around with designs. So there you can see it's a little more imaginative. Not my usual trees and things, although there are some of that in there. See my little owl. Okay, well, there's some trees, a little sketch of trees. Working in pen, usually. This was a little bit of um, colored pencil added with it. Here, working with pen, doing little designs. Got a little skull study in there. I like to add a little something spooky. Wings, just different designs. I'm probably looking in some sort of design book or online. The artist is always drawing skulls and skeletons, which you might think is kind of morbid and maybe it is, but it really helps the um, portrait artist to know what structure is underlying. Notice a little skull kind of shape in there, a little bit hidden, a little bat wing. This is one of my favorite trees in a park I like to visit. Just different designs. Here I like, don't even know what I wanted to do. So I just drew little curving <laughs> designs all over the place and then kind of made it look like a ribbon. Did little stippling dot dot dots. I like that. I don't know, just easy designs where I don't have to think too hard. Just go with the flow. I love this little owl. It shows up time and again in my work. Another little tree study. Again, this was really just, ooh, up and down. Brown, no really um, planned out design. I just kind of go with the flow on these. This is one of my, this is actually the uh, drawing that's in progress right now. 
just a quick sketch of that drawing that I showed y'all. Here's unfinished. So, you know, what will become of that? A couple of my uh, sketchbooks.